everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina, and today we're going to be working on some more of the advanced features, which is under the advanced tab on your um, Cricut Gypsy. The first thing you want to do is just start off with a new file, and I did this um, thought I would show you a couple of different things. Um, first, what we're going to do is I'm going to stay on my Basics tab first and start out by clicking my little um, overlay keypad here. And the first time you start to use this, it usually takes a couple seconds. And we're going to go ahead and let's select, select a cartridge. And I just go ahead and select um, right down on the bottom where the cartridge name is. And then you could just scroll through your linked cartridges. So let's just go with, um, let's Country Life. And I'm going to add a couple of images. And I'm going to do it on so that they are separate. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to go back to my mat. And I want to um, select my size. So I'm going to just select height and put it in as uh, 3.50, so 3.5 inches. And now everything I add to my mat at this point is now going to be at 3.5 inches. OK? So let's click on the keypad down the bottom, select um, one or two images. And I'm going to select, um, let's see, we're going to go with this. Let's just pick this tree here and mm -hmm, pumpkin. No, that's not a pumpkin. That's a bowl of yarn and sewing. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add those to our screen. And as you can see, as I showed you in the um, third video in the series, how to group and ungroup. So we're going to go ahead and ungroup these. So what you do is you select your group and ungroup key and click on your images to ungroup them. And then you're going to turn off your ungroup key. So now we just have each image separate. Okay, so let's start off with just a couple of, well, a couple of things on the Advanced tab. So we're just going to go up here to the top and it says Basic and Advanced. You're going to select Advanced. Um, the first thing is, is let's do some copying. So I want to copy this image because I want more than one of this tree on my, um, on my mat. So this little, um, little double box icon right here, if you just click that, it adds a second image to your screen. So you have to have it selected and then you hit copy. So let me just go over and I'm going to delete one of these and then I want to group these two trees together. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the group key which is under the basics tab. Sele have both trees highlighted. Turn off the group tree or group uh, icon and now you can see that both of these are selected. Let's go over back to the advanced tab. Um, the first icon right here you have is the um, uh, churning or kerning button and you could do one of two things. You can tap here and change your space in between the two trees by typing in a number or you could just use these arrows right here. Okay. The single arrow just takes it up or down less. The double arrows actually creates more space at one time. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave that the way it is. The next icon that we have here is the um, rotating icon. So you can do one of two things. You can do it with the double arrows or you could type in your numbers. So let's say we want to turn it 80 degrees and it goes ahead and um, we'll turn it 80 degrees. Okay, so let me go back to my advanced tab or my basic tab. I'm going to just remove that from my screen and we're going to work with this ball of yarn here. Go back to the advanced tab because the next thing we're going to work on is the slant uh, slant icon and again you could do it either by selecting how much of a slant you want or using your arrows so you can see as I use my arrows you can see the image image turning and slanting okay so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go back to my basic I'm gonna remove that from my screen um, so now I have a blank screen I'm just gonna go ahead and go down to my keypad down the bottom select an image add it to my mat so and again, I already have everything set to show up on my mat at three and a half inches. Let me just zoom in. And as I showed you before, zooming in is top, holding down the top silver and tapping on the screen. And the more you do it, the closer in it gets. And to turn off that, you just hit the bottom or the button again and it just um, takes it back to your normal view. So I'm just going to zoom in once. And we're going to go back over here to our advanced tab. The first icon right here is the weld button. So let me just show you the weld button. What you do is, let's go back, um, well actually we could just do it right from here. I'm going to copy this image. So I'm going to tap it, hit the copy button, 
and then I can add this right to my mat right here. So now I have two, two aprons on my screen and if I wanted to weld these two together you have to go into the basics tab, group them together because right now they are separate as you can see I can move just one of them but you group them together so you just hit the group button and make sure you select both of them turn off the group button and then to um, move them closer together if you already have them grouped you just double tap and the image turns purple and you just kind of move them closer together so they're overlapping now this isn't the best image to be doing that with but just to show you how to do it go back to the advanced, ta uh, advanced tab I'm just gonna click off and then click both of them so that the box is around both images again this is my weld button and now they're welded so when I tap off of them they're red and to make sure they're welded, if you do the preview key, which is this little icon right here, it's an eyeball, and you can see the parts that are welded together are grayed. So when you cut, the only parts they're going to cut are red. Okay? Before you could do anything else now, with, when you have the preview button on, is you just have to turn it off. Okay? The, um, these buttons right here actually flip your image, mirror image, so this one is upside down and this one turns it back and forth. And I will show you on another video on how we're going to work on a, um, make a shaped card using um, these, these icons and how they'll help. We already went over the copy paste button, so if you wanted to put more than one of these on your mat, what you would do, let me just zoom out and I'm just going to tap my top silver button here. If you wanted to put more than one, you have it selected, hit the copy, and these will all come over as welded together. So once you've welded the images together, they'll stay welded. Okay? So let's go ahead and remove these from our screen. So I'll jack back to the basics tab and I'm just uh, removing the images from my screen. And we're going to go over and back into here and select an image that has a little bit more detail. And let's see. Oh, not that one. Let's look for a different cartridge. Let's go to Indie Art. And say we're going to do the strawberry up the top here. So if you need to see an image, you're not really sure if it's, um, if it's the right image, to preview an image, you hold down the silver button, tap the image you want, and it'll open up in a whole different screen. So let's go ahead and add this to our screen. And what you do is just tap the silver button again to get, um, take that away hit the strawberry to add it to the script, the mat and now we're going to work on hiding using the hide contour so you're going to go over here to the advanced tab and this right here is a the, your hide contour button and whenever the image is highlighted in red that's what's selected and if you wanted to um, remove the uh, top part to your strawberry you wanted to hide it because you didn't want to cut that you would just hit hide and then you can move on to your next next image and what you do is just keep hitting next and hide and hiding all the pieces that you don't want to cut. This works great especially with some of the older cartridges that didn't have the layers that um, you know didn't come with all the different layers that you can actually create your own layers using the hide contour um, feature. So, so let's just click OK and now everything that we hid is now grayed out and the only thing that's going to cut is the outline of the strawberry which is great because now you can some of the older cartridges that didn't have um, all the layers, you can go ahead and we'll add the strawberry again and we'll go to the hide contour button and say we want to cut this piece um, separately because we want it in a different color, you just hit next and hide all of the other pieces to that. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide all of the pieces and now the only thing that's going to cut is the top part of your strawberry so maybe you wanted that to cut it green and then you go ahead and add another one. And your next part that you want to cut are your little black um, seeds. So you go to your hide contour. And like I said, this one, this uh, comes in handy for the older cartridges. So we're just going to go ahead and skip over all the seeds and remove the outline of the strawberry. Click OK. And now only the seeds will cut. So that's just um, some of the um, few tabs on the advanced, uh, advanced uh, tab. And also available on here is your resizing button too, so you can use your um, up and down here to resize and also your arrows here to 
where it's positioned on the mat. So, all right, that was episode, this is episode number four in the um, Gypsy series. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.